Hello, and welcome back to Kanbanize. This time around, we're going to look at how boards and cards work in unison to take the effort out of tracking, organizing, and reporting on your workflows. So, we're in the dashboard area. Here's our single workspace with our boards over here. On the left-hand side, the little stars highlight our favorites. And by the looks of things, the marketing team have two cards blocked and four cards overdue. Today, we'll start by having a look up here in the corner. Under your avatar is my account. You can change your image here. You can also change the language down here. Parlez-vous français? The next tabs for setting up your notification. You can be notified of all sorts of events, but beware. Be realistic on the amount of events you want to be alerted about. You will drown in spam if you're not selective in your setup. Anyway, you'll work it out. Just approach this on the basis of need to know. Next up, we have the API. It's documentation and your unique API key. If you know what this is, you probably know, this is more of a one-off setup, so check out the knowledge base and chat to the support team. The next tab has a load of shortcuts. And finally, another one-off, but I should mention that here you can upload a custom logo. You can also govern the admin view of all workspaces in the account. If you need it, you'll find it here. The bell here shows your in-app notifications and you can also change the settings in here if a steady flow of messages becomes a tsunami. We opened up the question mark last time but I'm going to say it again. We are here to help. Our knowledge base is kept updated with almost obsessive delight by a devoted Kanbanizer. So the articles are written from an inquisitive user's eye view. You also have the support team. Our team prides itself on being helpful, friendly, responsive, knowledgeable, and persistent. They hunt bugs with compulsive determination. If the KB doesn't answer your use case, send an outline to these guys and they'll work on it until it gets resolved. If you have grander plans for structuring and modeling your organization with Kanbanize, talk to the success team. We love this sort of challenge. Moving on, here's the admin area. All very standard stuff, but of limited interest to anyone except workspace managers. And this brings us rather neatly to the advanced search area. This is a gem of a feature. Every moment your initiatives and cards are on the board, they are building up data which can be drilled down into. I can't emphasize enough how important the advanced search facility is. In fact, it's so important, we'll do a deep dive into this feature in its own right. Even for very basic users, I would strongly recommend checking out the Knowledge Base article on this one. Let's tap in a keyword. Widget rings a bell. And here are all cards that are currently on the board with that in the title. If we go to Options at the bottom, we can also pull in matching cards from the archive as well. Just click any heading to get different sortings of the cards. For additional or fewer columns, go to the Configure Results area and click away to your heart's content. Play and experiment. Over here, we've got four different views. We're in the table view, but you also get bar chart, pie chart, and a traditional board view. Tempting as it may be to go deeper, for now, I think we should move on, but please investigate this further. If you have any interest in the statistical dynamics of your team, department, project, or business. While we're thinking about board and workspace filtering, we have this box hiding down here at the bottom. Hitting the star once again filters for favorites and typing in text will only display the boards with matching letter combinations. It's easy to miss this little button. It's the dashboard route to the archive. All archived workspaces and boards are on offer here. You can even delete them, but be advised, deletion is permanent. You can also bring boards out of retirement as situations dictate. Over here on the right, we have the widgets. Widget is a catch-all term for saved searches. Naturally, they can be customized, but there are six predefined searches available out of the box, covering the most important topics. You'll find them under the plus button. And while we're in the plus, 
we have the timesheet reporting section. Interesting, but a topic for a later time. Next up, we have the option to add a new workspace. We're gonna tackle workspace setup in video six. So grab that one next, if it's a topic that you're particularly interested in. We've already mentioned widgets, but the next is also pretty cute. Here you can set a background for your dashboard, a handful of wallpapers, or a suffusion of yellow, you decide. The last button in this section allows you to manage your workspaces. Another video on this topic is underway. We briefly mentioned the vertical side ribbon last time. This could profit from a bit more focus, but we'll be investigating these in depth as necessary. For now, experiment. Check out the knowledge base, and if something needs more elaboration, drop a line to the support team. And that's about it for this video. Hopefully, you should now have a pretty firm grasp of working in the Kanban style. And by now, you should be confidently moving things around. Kanbanize is intended to be comfortable. I wish you well on your Kanban journey. Until next time, happy Kanbanizing.